I'm Shazora Shaw, a tenor and a music educator living in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. And today I'll be introducing you to the singing syllables used in Elizabeth Alexander's choral piece, Those Who Wish to Sing Always Find a Song. Singing syllables or vocables don't have particular meanings as words, but when we sing them, they allow us to express the excitement and joy of music without having to worry about lyrics. Vocables give us a way to experience music with great freedom. You're probably already familiar with one or two very common vocables, tra-la-la or fa la 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 but for adventurous singers, that's just the beginning, so let's dive in. Nani Nani and Hey Nani No were very popular song refrains in Elizabethan England, which was about 500 years ago. William Shakespeare even used Nani Nani in a carefree song from his play, Much Ado About Nothing. Singing Hey Nani Nani Diddle Dee Dum is also a very old vocable, appearing in countless Irish songs, poems, and nursery rhymes. But Diddle Dee Dum is also a core part of an Irish singing tradition called lilting, or, not surprisingly, diddling. In diddling, tunes that were traditionally played on a fiddle are sung. The tunes are often quick and lively, with the syllables rolling off a diddler's tongue as nimbly as notes from a fiddler's bow. Diddle Dee Dee, Diddle Dee Dee, Diddle Dee Diddle Dee, Diddle Dee Dum, Diddle Dee Dum, Diddle Dee Diddle Dee Diddle Dee Dum. It takes a lot of practice. The next vocables come from the Russian Romani people, who are well known for their expressive singing and dancing. Aedam Taradam can be found in the chorus of the folk song Malyarka, in which a young man tries to persuade his sweetheart to run away with him. Aedam Taradam, Aedam Taradam. Pom Poknopom is one of the few vocables in the song whose exact origin we know. In 1919, the Japanese poet Ujo Noguchi included these vocables in a lyric about ancient mythological beings called Bake Tanuki. According to ancient legend, the Bake Tanuki love to sing and dance, especially when they take the form of animals called Tanuki, or raccoon dogs. In Noguchi's song, the Tanuki use their large bellies as percussion instruments. And what sounds do their belly drums make? You guessed it! Pom pom pokono pom! Pom pom pokono pom! Pom pokono pom! Variations on the vocable Fadderulande exist in both Sweden and Norway. Sometimes these strings of joyful syllables can get quite long and are sung very fast, almost like tongue twisters. Fortunately, the variation in Those Who Wish to Sing Always Find a Song has only five syllables. Fadderulande, Fadderulande, Fadderulande. Remember how the syllables diddle dum mimic Irish fiddling songs? Well, in South India, the vocal art form konakol mimics the intricate drumming patterns of the region. Konakol masters can achieve great virtuosity, improvising at fast speeds in complex meters. But underneath it all are some basic principles, one of which is that strong beat syllables are typically ta. You'll hear that clearly when you sing the vocable taka, takita ta, taka, takita ta. And sometimes you'll hear it really fast. Taka, takita ta, taka, takita ta, taka, takita ta. When people immigrate to other parts of the world, they bring their music right along with them. Many people assume that the famous lullaby Tura Lura Lura is an Irish folk song, but it was actually written in 1913 by James Royce Shannon, who was born in Michigan. However, that wasn't the first time Tura Lura had found its way into American music. Over 50 years earlier, the pioneer ballad Sweet Betsy from Pike was crooning Tura Li Ura Li Ura Li -e. The vocable used in Those Who Wish to Sing is a much shortened version of Sweet Betsy's ten-syllable refrain. Tu-ra-li, ra-li, ra li e tu ra li ra li ra li e There's actually a name for improvising on vocables like tanani, teradim. The word teradim comes from the ancient Greek word teratismata, which means the twittering of birds, or a person's aimless humming. This vocal tradition dates back to the Byzantine and Ottoman cultures that thrived around modern-day Turkey. Like diddling and konokol, tererim developed into a sophisticated vocal art form. In modern times, 
Danini syllables are used in many contexts, from Greek Orthodox church music to popular Turkish love songs. Danini, Danini, Danini. The final vocables, holla hi, holla ho, are from a German folk song in which the singer's true love marries someone else, leaving the singer to die of a broken heart. I know that sounds like a real downer of a song, but if there's a one thing that singing syllables do well, it's looking on the bright side of things. In the end, forget-me-not flowers grow on top of the grave, proving that true love never dies. If this ending still seems too sad, never fear. In some modern versions of this folk song, the singer does not die at all, but finds true love in the end. Holla hi, holla ho. So you can sing it confidently and heartfully. Holla hi, holla ho. Holla hi, holla ho. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy Those Who Wish to Sing Always Find a Song.